This week, we're going to look at the vowel sounds, right? Now, does anybody know what a vowel sound is? Yes, please. It is a rumbling tummy. <laughs> oh, well, a vowel, not bowel. Sorry, please. Right, well, there are five vowels in the alphabet. A, E, I, O, and U. A, E, I, I O, U. Good. Now, firstly, we'll take the letter A. Now, this can be pronounced in three different ways. It can be A, A, or R. A, A, or A. Excuse me. Yes, Max. Uh, I'm not understanding. Uh, how can A be a R? <laughs> it's not the letter R, it's sometimes pronounced R. And I am a what language? <laughs> it's all right, I'll give you some examples. Let's take the word F A T. Now that has a flat A sound. <laughs> ah. Ah. Good. But if we add an E to the end of fat, then what do we have? Fatty. <laughs> Oh, Giovanni, fate. Now, does anybody know what the word fate means? Por favor. Yes, Juan. Two fate. Two fate? Si, senor. One right fate, <laughs> one left fate. <laughs> no, Juan, those are feet. Ah, perdón. Right, moving on to the E. Now, the letter E is usually pronounced E, as in yeah. e. bet. Set, get. get. There are, of get. course, exceptions to the rule. For example, F E T E is also pronounced fate. Si, senor. One red fate. One red fate. No one. No. 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 Our feet, I told you before. It's all right, it's all right. Right. Moving on to the letter I. This is usually pronounced I or I. 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 Good. Now, can anybody give me an example of the I sound? Well, how would you pronounce F I T? Feet! Si, senor! One right feet, one left feet! No, no? no? <laughs> yeah, imbecile. Yo, imbecile? Imbecile, tu! Yeah. Italian idiota! No, la capitana! Yeah, 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 If you yeah, want to point. argue, argue in English. Go back to Italy, you Italian spaghetti! Ah, shut up! <laughs> you big Spanish omelette! <laughs> Hi, it's Bonnie Terry here, and this is an exciting day. You are just moments away from unlocking the code to spelling. No matter your grade level, there are only eight spelling patterns. I want you to remember that the code to spelling confidently and accurately is to spell according to spelling patterns. We only put letters together in eight different ways, and I'll teach you exactly how this works. In addition to learning the spelling patterns, it is important to work on visual, auditory, and tactile kinesthetic processing skills at the same time. Learning spelling in this way will not only improve your spelling skills, but also your overall learning, listening, and note-taking skills. First, remember we have two types of letters, consonants and vowels. You need to have a vowel to make a word. The vowel acts as the star of the word. The vowel gives the pizzazz to the word. The vowel gives voice to the word. Let's start with the first pattern and an example. When we have the letter C, T next to each other, what does that say? Kt. Is there any meaning there? No because we don't have any vowels. But if we separate the C and T from each other and put in a vowel, the letter A, now we have a word. We have the word cat, and I can change that A to an O, and we have the word cot. And I can change that O to an U, and now we have the word cut. And each of those, cat, cot, and cut, are in what we call the vowel consonant pattern. I'm sure you notice that cat, cot, and cut are all short vowel words. Short vowel words are in the vowel consonant pattern. 
The vowel pattern always starts with the first vowel in a word. So let's take a look at what this means. You can have no beginning consonant sounds and the vowel pattern like in the word at. The vowel pattern starts right away. Vowel consonant. In the word cat, you have one beginning sound and then the vowel pattern. In the word stop, you have two beginning sounds and then the vowel pattern. And in the word strip, you have three beginning sounds and then the vowel pattern. And the same concept works when you have multisyllable words. In the word picnic, you have one beginning sound and the vowel pattern for pick. Then you have another beginning sound and the vowel pattern for nick. Pic, nick, picnic. Each syllable will have a vowel pattern. So again, you can have no beginning sounds and the vowel pattern can start right away. You can have one beginning sound and the vowel pattern, two beginning sounds and the vowel pattern, or even three beginning sounds and the vowel pattern. Every syllable in a multisyllable word has a vowel pattern. One of the keys to learning to spell by spelling patterns is that your kids no longer have to memorize their weekly spelling lists or over 30 spelling rules. Learning the structure of the language makes spelling so much easier. Head on over to scholarwithin.com to learn more. And oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe.